What's up? Good morning everybody. It's around 7 a.m. here in Jakarta. Um, it's just finished raining, so a uh, nice fresh morning we got going on here. Now, in this video today, I'm gonna take you inside one of my campaigns, okay, that I'm preparing for a launch that's gonna be happening on Monday. Now, I'm not a big believer in holding information back from people or, you know, giving them just a little taste of it and then wanting them to buy the rest. It's not how I work. So I'm going to be revealing everything that I do inside of my campaigns. Now, most of my campaigns manage to break five figures. Hey, what? Yeah, most of my campaigns manage to break around five figures or just under five figures. So I kind of think that I've got it nailed. <laughs> and I, I want to be sharing this all with you inside of this video. So it's going to be a long one. It's not going to be a five minute Friday. It's going to be it's going to be a long video, but if you stay to the end and you watch the whole thing, then you'll get an understanding of exactly what I'm doing. Now, this doesn't matter if you are right at the beginning of your affiliate marketing journey or you're already an experienced affiliate marketer. You can definitely pick up some tips and tricks from what I'm doing, I guess. Um, so without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so the main reason why I'm making this video for you guys is because I recently um, did a promo on Warrior Plus for a product that was called Contenu. And um, ever since, I mean, I made almost $9,000 in the past one, two, three, four, five days. My conversion rates have been pretty good. If we look at uh, this week, Okay, overall conversion rates have been 48%. And most of all, I managed to send 623 sales. Now, this has kind of been blowing up on my Facebook uh, page uh, because Mark, the, the product creator, has, has been mentioning me and you know, every 100 sales that I've sent, he's, he's done an update on Facebook, which is pretty cool. And uh, it's just been blowing up. People have been asking me what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. Um, so that's kind of the main reason why I wanted to make this video because uh, it's no secret really and it shouldn't have to be a secret and I you know I just like to share stuff so this is what exactly what I'm doing so the first thing I need to look for a good offer now I chose Mark's offer to do this with because it was just an all-round really good offer I mean the whole concept of it what it did was it ripped um, the text from from YouTube videos in so it kind of took the the text out took the words out it put it into text and then you could automatically post that text to a site where people could buy that content okay so it was a perfect newbie solution to make some money online and, and I find that these kind of products sell the best um, okay so that's the number one reason that I think I did so well on this is because I had a good product to promote that that was sought after that everybody wanted so um, I go and look for a good product and I and I try to think about how people can monetize this product now Not every product is the same as is this content new product. It doesn't always have a monetization solution in there So what I will do on a weekly basis first of all every Sunday is I will go to munchai.com and I'm sure everybody's heard of this place it's a launch calendar and I will go through and I will look at the launches that are coming up for the coming week and I will try to figure out which of these launches I think I personally think is going to do well uh, based on the number one factor is how people can really monetize from these launches because at the end of the day people are here to make money right so that's what I look at now the other thing that I look at is the names of the people that are launching so I've been in this industry for about a year and a half now and I kind of know the names of the people that will probably have successful launches so I always use that as another factor on a launch that I'm going to be promoting now Mark Bishop has a huge name in the, in the industry he releases really good products which always seem to sell very well his sales pages are always really nicely put together so it's another factor you know the, the overall conversion rate you can kind of gauge that from how well the sales page has been put together so that was another big factor for me um, and also mark reciprocates which is another thing when you kind of get into this game and you, and you get into launching products and, and promoting products 
reciprocation also becomes a big deal, okay? It's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Sometimes these people will launch products that are absolutely crap. You really don't want to promote them, but you feel that you have to because they've promoted your previous launch and they've sent a lot of sales. So you're kind of bound to this reciprocation rule. But for this, it wasn't a problem because I, liked, I really liked Mark's products, so I wanted to go all out. But Mark does reciprocate with my launches as well, so it's another big factor. Okay, so if we go through launch, uh, launch I, Munchai today, you can see that there's a few names that pop out. Victory, he's always supported my launches and he, he, he puts out good products. I've had good results with his launches in the past, so this is another product that I'm definitely looking at hitting this week. Um, Anchor, uh, he always supports my products and, and I generally have good results with, with Anchor's products as well. Paul Nichols, he's another guy who um, supports my products and puts out good ethical products himself. So this is another one that's coming up on Wednesday. Um, Cliff Carrigan, although he's never supported my stuff before, I know he's a pretty big name and anything to do with YouTube seems to go down well with my list. So this is another product that I'm looking at promoting. Let's have a look. Kenny Cannon, he's another big name. Um, I think he supported my launches in the past, but this is another one that I'll be looking at supporting this coming week. And also Tom Yevsikov, a super nice guy, and he always puts out really nice products as well. I always have good results with his products. And this particular product, after researching all the products that are launching this week, this is the actual product that I'm going to be going big on, okay? Because it's a really good solution. Now, although it doesn't include a monetization solution in there, it's a tool that anybody can use in this business because it's to do with email marketing. Now, most of my subscribers, they're probably quite new to this whole game, but they do understand the importance of having an email list. And this tool actually maximizes people's open rates and click rates. It's a very clever tool that I'm gonna be using myself. So this one, out of all of the, out of all of the launches that happened this week, this particular one got me excited, so I know that that is going to vibrate with my, vibrate, that's gonna, that's gonna rub off on my subscribers, okay? When I get excited about something, then they get excited. So this is the one that I'm gonna be going all out for. So my next step is to check out the product in more detail, so I'll go and have a look at the JV page. And there's certain things that I'm looking for here. Okay, um, now I hate to admit it, but since I do have quite a bit of bargaining power in this industry, um, price points are a big deal for me, okay? Um, I used to only support launches on Warrior Plus that had kind of a front-end price of $7, but since I've grown up my email list and, and I've realized that I can make more money on the price points than anything else, then I, I look at price points that are gonna be beneficial to me. So this has a front end price of $47 with a 50% commission rate. That means that I'll be getting around $23 per front end sale, which is really good, versus kind of a $7 product, okay? And the funnel looks good. I've checked out the uh, the upsells here and they're super congruent. You know, sometimes you get products where the, the upsells have nothing to do with the front end, and that's always a turn off for buyers. So. I know that a lot of my buyers are going to be picking up these upsells, which means more money for me at these similar price points. So again, another $23 for me per, per payment here. The other thing that I look at is uh, prize money. Now, this is probably the least important thing on my checklist, but it does play a factor. And why shouldn't it? You know, I'm able to, I do have the firepower to, 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 to grab first place in a lot of these situations. So. I do look at prizes. Now, the competition here is okay. Um, there's there's a lot of products that launch on JVZ which have a much higher payout for, for first place, but since I really like this product, and this is, a, this is a decent prize money compared to a lot of other launches who only offer kind of $500 to $700 for first place, this is actually pretty cool. So uh, another reason, and they also have some um, mid-launch prizes as well, which is, uh, which is another bonus, so I think I'll be able to scoop up some of them. So that's another factor that comes into play as well. So altogether, this is the launch that I'm gonna be going for. Now, the next thing that I do is I prepare everything. So this is point number two, okay? Plan in advance. So what I do is I have my Google Calendar here, and this is where I put, I put in everything 
that I want to be promoting the next coming week. Now as you can see some of the things on here are listed as blue, some of them are green. Um, what I will do is I will go and I will make a new entry for this particular product. So it's called EM Pro Tools. Okay, I have um, this template that I use in my, in my calendar and I'll actually drop that down below if you guys want to use that, that's fine. Uh, where is it? The, the, the calendar template. So it looks like this. It's just a very simple format that I have. So I have my affiliate link, the link to the sales page, the link to the JV doc, the link to review access, and then I have all of these five bonuses which I leave blank. So all I will do, I'll just copy that. Okay, I'll go into my calendar. Okay, so I'll open up my calendar. As you can see, I've already predefined all of the, I've already filled in all of the things that I've, I've got in this kind of template that I've made. So I've dropped the JV page into the top here. Okay, I've put in my affiliate link because I applied for it, I got it, and then I pasted it in here. I got my sales page, I got the sales page preview, I pasted that there. The JV doc, I got in touch with Tom. Uh, if For those of you that don't know how to do this, uh, to get review access, I'm sure most of you do, you just go to the JV page, you scroll right down to the bottom of the JV page, and you can see the people that are involved in this launch. So you can go and message any of these people and they'll send you through uh, review access. So I've done that. I've got my review access in here, but I've actually removed my username and password just because I'm putting this in public. And then the next thing that I do is I go through and I create my bonus ideas. Now, um, I've, I already have inside of my um, Commission Gorilla account, I've already got a ton of bonuses that I've made over the past year and a half. If I just go into my bonus library here, um, you can see, you can see that I have <laughs> hundreds of bonuses inside of here that I have access to, uh, to use. So I generally nowadays, I just reuse a lot of these bonuses that I previously made because I've made bonus inside of here, I've custom made bonuses for pretty much every angle of every single product. Now, what I look for when I create my custom bonuses is ways that people, things that I can do to improve the product itself, okay? So this is an email related product. Uh, it presumes that you already have an email list, but it doesn't show you ways that you can build that email list to start off with. So that's where I come in with my custom bonus tutorials, like my first bonus here, how to build a huge list super fast. And I give them access to a product that I launched uh, in September called the Fuego Breakout, which shows people how to build their email list using Instagram traffic, pixel in their squeeze pages so they can get even more, squeeze even more traffic out of Google AdWords. So that's gonna be my first bonus, showing people how to build an email list. My second bonus, I'm showing people how to create a squeeze page, an email capture page, and link it up to their autoresponder. Uh, bonus number four, I'm showing people a hack that I use where I increase my click rates. So this is an email marketing product to do with click rates and open rates, so I include that bonus as well. This gives people even more value. And then bonus number four, I show people how to make a campaign from start to finish, a bit like what I'm doing in this video. I've, I've, I've recorded one of these videos in the past, it was a while ago, but I'm using that as the bonus. And then I include the vendor bonuses as well, which you can get from the JV page. So once I've done here, I've got all of this information. What I used to do was go into Commission Gorilla and I would create my bonus page using the, the look and feel of the sales page, the colors and stuff like that. I would base my bonus page on that. Um, uh, and then I would I would paste in my affiliate link, I would put in the, the demo video, and then I would make each one of these bonuses, I would make a brand new graphic mock-up in Canva uh, for each one of these bonuses. So at the end of it, my bonus page is gonna look something like this. This is for, um, this is for Trendycom, but you can see I've custom made all of my bonus graphics for this particular product. So I've got the name of my bonus, I got the logo of the product in there, and I do that for every single one of my bonuses. I create my bonuses first, and then I'll go in there and I'll create my bonus page. Okay. Nowadays, I have a virtual assistant, so all I need to do is just put all of this stuff into my calendar, and once I have all of this information, I mark it as green instead of blue. I change it from, from blue to green, and then I'll save it. Now, what my VA does, he has access to my calendar as well. He will come into my calendar and he will go and create the bonus page inside of Commission Gorilla for every single one of these calendar entries, which saves me a ton of time. If you're not outsourcing stuff like this, you really should be. I used to spend at least two hours 
creating a single bonus page. Now I don't even need to do it all because I've got all of this stuff in here. So once I've gone through and I've added all of that information to every single one of my um, inserts in my calendar, mark them as green, my, my VA will go through and it'll create the bonus pages for me. Okay, so moving on, we're gonna talk about the next step which is creating the review video. Okay, so creating a review video, what you need to do is, uh, I'm not gonna tell you how to make a review video, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview. You're gonna have to have your um, review access open. You're gonna need to have the sales page open, okay? You're gonna have to have your bonus page ready, which my VA has sent through to me. Okay, so you're gonna have to have that open. And you're also gonna have to have the bonus page that the, uh, the vendor has created, you need to have that open as well. So we have members area, we have our bonus page, we have the vendor bonus page. I'm just gonna open that up. Scroll to where the bonuses begin, which is somewhere down here. There we go. And then we have the sales page. Then we go through and we make our review video. So the first thing that I would do is I make sure I have the members area open so people can see that. And then I would go through and I would, I would give them an overview of exactly what this does. So people, if they are interested in watching the rest of my video, they can stay tuned. If it's something that's not gonna interest them at all, they can, they can just go and watch something else, some cat videos or something. Um, so I, get, I do an overview first, and then I go and I, I, and I tell them how my particular funnel works. So I say, okay, if you click on the link down below in the description, you're gonna come through to my bonus page. If you wanna buy this product, go from my bonus page, scroll down, click on any of these yellow buttons. That'll take you to the, to the sales page where you can purchase. So I'm, t I'm explaining them in very basic baby language how to go through my little funnel that I've created with my bonus page. So there's no confusion there. After that, I will go and talk about my bonuses and tell them how they're gonna help them out. Okay, and I'll tell them how to claim their bonuses by going through to the sales page. And then I'll quickly, briefly go over the sales page, talk about the heading, uh, talk about what they can do. I'll talk about the vendor bonuses. And then I'll go into the actual product and I'll start going through the product. After that, I will go and talk about the funnel. I'll talk about each one of the upgrades, whether I think they're worth picking up or not. And then I'll quickly talk to them about the, uh, the, uh, the advantages of getting my bonuses. And then I'll end that, I'll end the review there. Once my review is done, I will go and grab the embed code from the YouTube video. Let's say for example, this is my uh, review video. Click on share, we grab the embed code and I'll go and embed that onto my bonus page. So we have all of that done. The only other thing that I do is I have this app which is called uh, Easy Web Video. Okay, I know Mike from Maine uses this same app, it's really cool. What it does is it takes kind of 10 seconds of your review video, it makes it into a GIF image, a clickable GIF, that you can then go and put into your emails. So I found by doing that, it increased it, it increased it, <laughs> it increased my click rates on my emails hugely, okay, because people, that was kind of a distracting uh, GIF image that was moving and it got people to click on it. So. The, the only thing left to do is go and make a GIF image of um, my review video. Simply just click on click magnet. You would go and import your YouTube URL once you've done that. Um, you would, and it's, and it's loaded up. You would go and click on imported YouTube videos. And you'd simply go through to your, the video that you hey, uploaded as a well, GIF. John here from John you go and set the, the, the aspects. I use 400 by 225 as the, the ratio because it fits nicely in the email. You'd go and make sure that you, you drop in the URL of your bonus page because <clears throat> your bonus page will have your review video on it. So it's the only URL that you need to be sending out to your subscribers. So you drop that into here and you click on save and then that's ready to be inserted into your emails. Which brings me on to step number three, four. Okay, step number four, we're gonna start talking about the email campaign itself. Right, so step number one inside of my email campaign is I will make a, what, what I like to call a pre-warmer video. Now, this video will go out to my subscribers at least 24 hours before the product goes live. So 
What I do in this video is I just take my cell phone or my DSLR, which I'm filming with at the moment, and I'll just make a simple video saying, hey guys, what's up? This is Jono here. I'm currently here in Jakarta. I've just woken up. I've just had some coffee. Just some kind of thing to break the ice to start off with. And then I'll say, anyway, the reason why I'm creating this video for you is because tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, there's a really cool product that's launching, okay? You're talking to the camera here. And you give them some benefits about what this product does. So you say, this product is going to enable you to increase your open rates on your emails, your click rates on your emails, um, which in turn is going to make you even more money because the more people that see your emails, the more people that click on your emails, they go through to that offer and obviously you're able to make more money from that. So I, I, I just rattle off all of the benefits of this product and then I tell them, you know, even if you don't have an email li list yet, this is something that you want to be doing definitely in the future to maximize your profits online. No matter what industry you're in online, it could be CPA, it could be Amazon affiliates, it could be e-com, whatever you're doing, you need to be building up this email list as your asset. And don't worry, I've got you covered in my bonuses because I'm going to show you how to build up that email list. So my bonuses coupled together with this product are going to really help you online. Okay, stop and then upload that to YouTube. Once you've uploaded that to YouTube, you're going to include that URL in your very first email. Now, like I said, this email is going to go out at least 24 hours before this goes live. Why are we doing this? Well, I've found from doing this, it's, it's definitely increased my sales. It's a really crucial part of the, the whole email campaign. I've found that by doing this, you're actually showing to your subscribers this, this is something that you are personally excited about. This is a product that you're personally excited about and you really want them to pick this up, okay? Apart from that, it gives you extra exposure because you started mailing 24 hours before the product launches. So, you know, some of these subscribers, they'll open your emails a couple of days late. And if you started, if you only started promoting this on day one, when it goes live, then the, pr the whole product could be over by the time they open their email. So having that extra 24 hours in your campaign is really going to maximize the amount of people that see your emails and the amount of people that buy this from you. It also gives you a head start over all of these other affiliates that are probably only going to be starting to mail their subscribers from day one. Whereas you have started capturing those people's um, engagement, you've started engaging with those people, you've started capturing those people's attention 24 hours before everybody else. So they've already locked into you as this person that they're going to be buying from, right? Um, another thing is, you know, a lot of affiliates, they'll start mailing out as soon as it goes live. That kind of gives off these signals to your subscribers that you're only doing this as kind of a, you're just an opportunist. You're just jumping on something because you want to make some money. You're not genuinely excited about this. You're not genuinely excited enough about this to email them 24 hours before it goes live, okay? So it really helps to create the buzz. So that's a, a massive tip right there. Okay, now my next email, I will send out, so that first email would go out at say 11 a.m. EST, 24 hours before it launches. My next email will go out around 6 p.m. on that same day, which will be roughly kind of 14 hours, 15 hours before it goes live. Now, my next email will be my review video. So I'm gonna send out the email uh, that's gonna send those people to my bonus page so they can watch the review video in full. They can take their time going through it. They're not rushed to go and buy this because this is this is sent out when it's gone live. They've got plenty of time to go through my review video, check out my bonuses and, and build up that buzz even further. Now, I just forgot something. In my pre-warmer video, when I, when I talk to the camera, this kind of two minute video, I also tell people to look out for my next email where I'm gonna be sending them my review. So they're already prepared for that review to come at 6 p.m. that day and then they'll go through the review and they'll be ready to go and purchase this the following day at 11 a.m. Right, so that's the review video. Now, the next day I will send out, uh, uh, I'll send out an email in the morning at around 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, listing all the benefits of this product that's due to launch, telling these people about how, how valuable my bonuses are, how they're gonna help them out, and then urging them to go and check out my review. Just a simple um, email that does that. Okay. The next email that goes out is 45 minutes before it goes live. So if it goes live at 11 a.m., this email will go out at 10.15 a.m., right? Now this email is, is again listing the benefits, telling these people this is gonna go live in 45 minutes time, 
which is just enough time for them to click on the link and go and watch my full review, check out my bonuses and prepare for it to go live, okay? That email goes out at uh, 45 minutes before. So the next email is gonna be the, the email when it goes live. This will go out at about 11.01 a.m., okay? Now, this will be a very short email just saying, okay, the product that I've been talking about for the past couple of days has finally gone live, the checkout's open, this product is gonna help you to do X, Y, and Z, list a few benefits, and then send people again to your bonus page with your review on it and the buy buttons and all the rest of it, okay? That live email, I will then resend to subscribers. There's a way to do this inside of GetResponse, the automation feature. So it will take that email at 11 a.m. and then, um, I'll try and show you actually on here because it's, it's a bit difficult to try and explain. So this automation feature, here's one that I did. This is the very email that I sent when it went live. So let me just edit this. Okay, so it starts off with the live email. <clears throat> so 345 people opened that live email when it went live. 12,900 people didn't open that email, okay? So what I did with those people that didn't open it is I told it to wait for an hour and a half it's actually two hours because inside of here there's also a 30 minute kind of timer thing. So after two hours, which takes us up to 11, 12, around one o'clock, it sends out the exact same email again. Okay, now you can see a further 252 people did open that email, but 12,647 people didn't open that email. So again, we go for another two hours, uh, sorry, another three hours and then it will go and re-email re that, that again. So that will be one, two, three, four p.m. Okay, that takes us up to four p.m. So you've got a high chance that as many people have seen this email as possible. That's the live email, and then we, we email to unopens again. Now, the next email that I send out is gonna be in the evening of the live, okay? So around six p.m. in the evening after this has gone live, I'll send these people out another email. Now, this is when I start to introduce scarcity. And some people might think that this is a little bit too early for scarcity, but I try not to run my campaigns any longer than a couple of days because, you know, there's so many products launching on, on, a, on a daily basis. It's hard to do a campaign for more than a couple of days without moving on to something else. So, all right, this is the live email. And then this is the email that goes out in the evening around 6 p.m. Now. Um, I've start, I, I, I just, for the, for the rest of the time, really, I just focus on my bonuses expiring, okay? The whole scarcity revolves around my bonuses expiring. So you can see uh, the new Miracle newbie, print, new, newbie money printing machine is flying off the shelf for good reason. The only bad thing is that I only have nine bonus spots left. Yes, 91 spots have been already taken. So I use a product that me and Brendan actually launched back in uh, August, I think called Urgency Suites Pro. We created this product ourselves. we had it developed. We spent a ton of money creating this and um, it, was a, it was a failed launch. We only sold like 200 or 300 copies and I have no idea why because I use this exact software in every single campaign and it makes me so much money because I have access to these urgency bars which you see I just used in this email here in my evening email you're able to completely customize this and put this into your emails or your web pages. And then for the rest of the time, I'll be using this countdown scarcity timer. And I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so 6 p.m. on day one, I'll send out this scarcity email where I, I show the number of spots that have gone and there's only nine left. So this, and I tell people that these, these nine remaining spots will go super fast, they always do. Okay, I also drop in um, some benefits of the product again just in case people haven't read any of my previous emails they want to get up to scratch on what the product does and doesn't do so you can see that there and then I create these buttons with another software that I use which is called let mailbox uh, by Kimberly Kimberly DeVries okay so you can create all of these different elements inside of uh, let uh, what's it called let let mailbox I just use this one, which is the, the, the call to action buttons, but they have a ton of other features inside of here which you can use. I don't really use any of the other ones, just that. And that's what I use to create these buttons here. So when people click on these buttons, they're gonna go through to my bonus page, 
which has all the information on there. It's got my review, my review video on there. And then if they click on any of these buttons, they go through to the sales page. So that's going to be the evening email, uh, 6 p.m. on day one. Next email I do, which is day two, um, I start to introduce the countdown timer. Now you can create the countdown timer in here. You just choose the deadline and, and all that kind of stuff. And you just copy this uh, bit of HTML and you put that into your email. So my next email is this one, okay? So that the subject line is, these will expire tonight. Okay, and as you can see, I have this countdown timer in here, which is now expired. I, I also give a little bit of the benefits of the product, and then they have these easy to see buttons in here, which they can click on and go through to my bonus page and purchase, right? So this goes out at around 7.30 a.m. Uh, the following day, right? And a lot of people see this, but in case they don't, I have another email, which is my next email, which goes out in the evening, again around 5.30, 6 p.m. And um, I just remind people, I just remind people that in a couple of hours, um, my bonuses will expire. Again, I'm pressing that scarcity all the time on my bonuses because that's where I think a lot of people buy my stuff because of these bonuses. So. I have the timer to say, okay, in like three or four hours time, these are going to disappear. Um, you know, I tell people that this is one of the best products that I've seen this year and I do review a lot of products on my YouTube channel, so I know what's good and what's bad, that kind of stuff. And then I give them, again, the buttons that they can click to go and purchase this. So that goes out in the evening and that is usually where I'll end it. When my timer expires, I remove my bonuses and that's usually where I'll stop the campaign. It's kind of a, a, a 24 hour, 48 hour campaign. That's all that I'll do. Now, depending on how well this is converting, and as you can see in, in my Warrior Plus account, like I showed you before, continue is converting pretty well for me. You can see the stats are around kind of 50%, and um, the EPCs are high enough for me to, to continue mailing with this. So that brings my campaign into day two. What I did on day two is I, um, I um, I started mailing about the price rise because the price of continue was actually gonna start going up and that's another reason for, to mail I guess so um, I I got a coupon as well from Venkata and he said uh, I could use that and um, I also said that I was reinstating my bonuses for the next 24 hours I never usually do this but if a product is converting really well and I'm making a lot of sales from it there's no point in me moving on to another product straight away if there's still some juice left in this campaign. So I'll continue, I'll continue mailing out uh, that second day. So that's what I did. Those are all the mails that I sent out. Usually that's the exact same format that I'll follow with every single campaign. I'll start it off with that pre-mail video. I'll send my review out that evening. Um, I'll send a couple of emails out before it goes live to make sure that everybody knows what's going on. I'll, I'll, I'll resend to unopens during the first day. I'll send, I'll introduce scarcity in the first evening. <clears throat> Next day I'll introduce the scarcity timer and I'll just start pushing that. That's all I do. Okay, so another reason why I think I was able to make so much money from this one campaign is because recently I've been experimenting with doing something pretty new. Well, it's not pretty new, I started doing this be, uh, mid 2017 and it really worked but I just got a little bit lazy and um, I stopped doing it for a while but what I've been doing here is I've been creating content you know free content for my subscribers Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel my name. Uh, free content for my subscribers and I put them all into this playlist which is called five minute Friday so is affiliate man um, what I've done is I've just made a collection of these different tutorials where I'm teaching people different things so like um, how to make $100 in the next 24 hours. I'm, I'm giving people uh, bonus pages that they can use for upcoming launches. You know, I'm showing people how I made $2,000 a day. I'm showing people how to build their first funnel and get response. My wife is talking about my journey. Um, I'm talking about how to deliver bonuses. You know, these simple topics, how to get your affiliate link, uh, different traffic sources to use, uh, how to track your sales, you know, stuff like that. Stuff that's often overlooked by marketers because they think it's just something trivial but it's always something that newbies struggle with I've been making these short kind of 15 minute videos just explaining exactly step by step how to do different things 
uh, I call them my five minute Friday tutorials and they have been really really instrumental I'm getting a lot of engagement on these people are thanking me for doing it and I think in turn because I'm providing so much value in between my campaigns people are buying more stuff from me uh, because I'm recommending that they that they pick stuff up that's just how it works they I guess they like me or something <laughs> so um, I think that's been really instrumental so Overall, I do hope this video has helped you guys. Um, just giving you an insight into the things that I'm doing in my business. Feel free to replicate whatever you think is going to be useful. And um, that's it. I'll see you on the next one. All the best.